So I have to admit that the first time I heard about a text-based editing system, I was a little bit hesitant and curious at the same time. Because I was like, is editing via text really easier? Well, here's what Camtasia's Audi8 has to say about text-based editing. So I'm on the Audi8 page here, and it says that text-based audio editing makes it easy for anyone to edit audio and saves professionals tons of time. Now, when you think about the concept of text-based audio editing, it's different from how we normally edit videos, which is basically that you are looking at the waveform of the audio and then editing uh, problems out, right? But in text-based um, editing, <laughs> I was gonna say auditing. Okay, in text-based editing, what you do is you have the words that go with the waveform and then you edit the words. So it's supposed to be easier. So I am on Audiate's webpage and they give a few different reasons of why text-based editing is actually faster. So the first reason is that it is easier to find and remove any mistakes in and hesitations in your videos. The second reason is that there is a one-click option that removes ums and ahs from your video recording or your audio recording. And the third reason is that you can easily enhance your audio. You can remove noise and echo from your room and enhance the quality of the audio that you have recorded. So Audiate by Camtasia does all of this and you can get started with a free trial. I'll put the link down in the description below. But what I'm going to do right now is use that free trial and walk uh, both myself and you through what the experience is like. Okay, because since Audiate is made by Camtasia, so what I'm gonna do is take a recording that I made in Camtasia, I'm gonna export it over to Audiate. Now you can do the reverse, you can actually open up Audiate as a separate app and you can actually record your audio directly in that app. I'm gonna show you how to do that, but right now I'm gonna do the Camtasia export version of the process. So here I have my Camtasia recording open. And what I've done is I've separated the audio from the video. So it is a separate file, as you can see over here. Now, the way to do that is by going to edit and you can click this button that says separate audio and video. You can see I've already done that, so it's grayed out. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is you can either right click here and choose to edit in Audiate or you can actually go to the edit menu from here and then click edit in TechSmith Audiate. So let's go ahead and do this. And it's exporting my file and it's asking me to save the project. Yes, save and continue. All right, it's gonna take about a minute to transcribe this test audio that I've recorded. All right, so that went really fast and you can see that I have my text transcribed, as well as you can see that there's a waveform audio that goes with it. So now let's get into the juicy part. Let's edit this section of the video and this audio using Audiate text-based editing. Okay, so the first thing I see over here is there are five suggested edits. Now these five are the auto edits that the software is recommending I can make right away. So I'm going to click this drop down menu and see what those five suggested edits are. And the options are to delete all my hesitations, to silence all hesitations, silence all pauses, or shorten all pauses. So when you look at this file, you can see that my text is in yellow, but the hesitations are in pink. So all my ums and ahs, extra pauses and all that kind of stuff is basically highlighted. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I am going to delete, so when I say delete all hesitations, it's actually going to just remove that. If I say silence all hesitations, then it just won't play that particular hesitation while I when I play back the audio. So let me go ahead and click silence so I can show you what that looks like. So now you can see that it's changed color from pink to white and I'm gonna play this. Okay, this is the test recording that I'm doing to test out Audiate for Camtasia. Let's see if it can take out some of the... 
Okay, so there was a pause there in that silenced version where you saw that the um was silenced, but the pause still remained and it did not sound natural or good at all. So I'm actually going to go ahead and remove um, that hesitation. So I'm going to go and click on delete all hesitations. Now I could do this manually and go ahead and delete one hesitation each, but I'm just going to do um, the auto version for now. Let's play that and see what it sounds like. Okay, this is the test recording that I'm doing to test out Audiate for Camtasia. Let's see if it can take out some of the... Okay, great. So that was way more natural. So a couple of other things that I want to show you is that you can actually click on the waveform. You can use this little button on the bottom left corner and click this and it will show you the waveform and then you can actually select any part of this waveform and you can edit that as well. So for example, if I wanted to edit out this extra uh, <laughs> or A that I said, I could just choose this from the text and then it would highlight where it, where it occurs inside the waveform. And then I could just edit it out like that. Or if I want to open the waveform from here, I can do that as well. So this button will also open the waveform. This button over here, if you click on this, this is actually going to remove this selection. So if I don't want to keep this particular uh, text or audio in my final playback, I will click this and remove the uh, like so. So, so far, so good. We're doing really, really well with this editing. Um, and you can see that it is actually really, really fast because there's a lot of automated features. Now, what if I wanted to dive into some of the manual features, then I'm going to go over here on the bottom right hand corner, click this. And what it shows me over here are some controls. So when I click on this button here that says FX, it opens up different types of effects. And these effects are going to help me improve the quality of the audio recording. Now, I'm not sure how well you can hear the audio recording in this, but essentially I actually recorded the audio straight in my MacBook Pro without using any mic or any filters or anything. So it has recorded a bit of background um, noise. There is a bit of echo in this as well. So I will just go over here and I will make sure that it removes uh, the reverb, which is the echo. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and remove any noise. Okay, now let's play back this audio. Okay, this is the test recording that I'm doing to test out Audiate for Camtasia. Let's see if it can take out some of the uh, things that I don't want to say inside this video and keep the things that I do want to say. So, okay, cool. So I can hear the audio much better now. It has actually reduced the room echo and all of that kind of stuff. Okay, so once you are happy with your audio recording, you want to export your audio back into Camtasia and sync your video and your audio. So you want to click on export and then choose export to Camtasia. And then it will give you two options. One, you can edit just the media. So you can just edit your audio or to edit your entire Camtasia timeline. So that way it's going to sync all your video and your elements and everything with the audio that you've just edited. So we are going to choose this option to edit your Camtasia timeline and then click on export. And yes, I want to save this project. Okay, and now you can see the edits in your Camtasia timeline. So let's play this. For Camtasia, let's see if it can take out some of the things that I don't want to say inside this video and keep the things that I... So you can see that the edited version has been synced with the video and whatever other elements that you want inside your timeline. And now your video and your audio are edited and in sync. Okay, so remember in the beginning, I told you that you can actually open up Audiate and start this recording in Audiate versus start it in Camtasia. So let me show you how to do that. So I'm gonna X out of here. Um, yeah, save it. <laughs> okay. And let's come out of Camtasia. So close all of these files. And now I'm gonna actually open up Audiate. 
So if I wanted to just record, for example, a narration over my course module, let's say, or something, I would choose this option. I would just open up Audiate. I would hit the record button, wait for it to initialize. Okay, and now I can actually start recording. And you can see that as I speak, my audio is being transcribed in real time. Isn't that awesome? All right, stop recording. And now you have a great transcribed audio recording. And then you can go ahead and export this into your work files. And I just think that this is such a great feature for anybody who hates the typical standard form of editing and wants to try text-based editing where they can actually see the words and edit their corrections, edit their hesitations out and make corrections. This is a great great tool for you to try. If you are ready to give Audiate a trial today, then be sure to click the link that you're going to see in my description, and I will see you in the next video.